All right, well, here we are inside the Stratus 281 VBH. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, what a great layout it is and some of the new things that we have going for fall of 2020. Uh, one of the best things, if you ask me, is the new furniture. Um, Karina said that I'm not gonna be able to do the entire walkthrough from here. I tried talking her into it because it's pretty comfortable and I can even, I can even turn the massage feature on. So it's got heat and massage. It's got a USB in each arm, and look at this. Got a little flip up uh, uh, power port. You got a 110 outlet and two more USBs. You know, and One of the biggest changes that I really love from last year is that this isn't just a console that sits in between. This is actually a third seat, so it flips up, so you have a full-sized sofa as well as theater seats, and of course, you know, you got your little rip cord here. The seats come up. It's comfortable. Karina, are you sure I can't just do the whole thing from here? No. Okay. So, <laughs> great new furniture for fall of uh, 2020 on the Stratus uh, uh, line. And, and again, we're in the 281 VBH. So, this is a double over double model. Okay, if we look in the back here, this is the sleeping area for the kids or guests or whatever. You have two double beds. And what I love about the way we do our double over doubles, this bottom flips over. All right, that'll stay up. Or you can actually take that mattress out and put it on top when you're traveling and that'll lay flat and you can store all kinds of stuff underneath there. You know, that's where the dog uh, crate might go or you know, the extra coolers or the extra luggage or whatever. And when you get where you're going, yeah, it makes a great play area for the kids even. So very, very versatile, very easy to use. So not every double over double has that feature, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you the pantry also. This pantry is huge. I don't know if you saw it, but the uh, motion light came on when I opened the door here. There are coat hooks and three shelves. I mean, this is like the size of a bedroom in some campers, you know? So, I mean, I can go in here completely and disappear. All right, so um, this is also a motion light. Yeah, so when you walk in, it turns on automatically. If you've been out for the day and uh, you come in, it's dark, instead of fumbling for keys uh, and a light switch, uh, this will turn on when you walk in, all right? Um, let's check out the bathroom. Uh, for a 28-footer, this has a great bath in it, a uh, nice shower, uh, stainless steel sink, porcelain commodes, Plenty of counter space and storage and a medicine cabinet, even storage underneath the sink. Another nice thing about our bunks is that we have uh, a couple of USB ports and cargo nets uh, for holding phone or electronics or a book or whatever. So it's really a, a handy little spot and individual lights that turn on and off. Okay, also new this year, we've consolidated all of our switches and controls into the Venture control panel. Um, here it is right here on the end of the pantry, right next to the bathroom door. So it really makes it nice because everything's together and easy to access. So we've talked about the back end and, and the theater seats. Uh, and right across from the theater seats is your entertainment center. So you have great viewing for your TV. This is on a swivel, so it'll pull out and turn, you know. Um, you have a nice stereo built in here uh, with Bluetooth uh, capabilities. You can play your own playlist through the Bluetooth connection. And there's even a 5 volt charger here uh, with, a, uh, with an HDMI input as well. So you don't always find the 5 volt charger. So you can charge a tablet or your, uh, your, your, your phone or whatever uh, by plugging into the front of the stereo. So it's another, another power connection. Um, and then of course below you got a great 30 inch uh, fireplace, which I love this. You can change, depending on what mood you're in, you can change the, oops, I just turned the heat, the heat on, don't need that. Uh, there we go. So you can change the colors and the flames. There you go. Green crystals with blue flames, who doesn't love that? <laughs> Great dinette here. These are uh, 42 inch dinettes. They're actually big enough for four adults to sit in. You know, I'm no little guy and uh, there's plenty of room for four of me in this booth. So, and no comments on the, on the comment section below, please. All right. <clears throat> this does break down to a sleeping area. 
and we've done some other things too. Um, I really love this. Instead of a drawer underneath, because that drawer doesn't take up the whole space, and if they break, they're the devil to, to try to fix. Um, but you have a tote. This is a 36 inch tote. It takes up almost the whole space. And what's nice about this is you can take it inside, load it up, bring it back out, and you're, you're, you're packed. Or it could be where you keep the hot dog forks or all the extra shoes or, you know, wash the baby. I don't know. There's a lot of uses for that. You'll have to be creative and come up with your own. But I think it's a great idea. <clears throat> so if we move over into the kitchen area, you'll see one of the most efficient kitchen layouts. Uh, it's not huge, but it's got everything you need. Um, this year, we have gone to a modern farmhouse decor on the inside which are antique oil rubbed cabinets, um, uh, antique white, I should say, oil rubbed cabinets. Um, you've got a nice live edge countertops and tabletops, right? And then the rest of the coach is the uh, medium brown, you know, kind of grayish, medium brown uh, tones in the wood. So, but great layout. You've got your cooktop with three burners and a built-in cover. You got a nice backsplash here. I think the design team did a great job putting all this together. Everything looks nice. Um, you got your lights on the uh, stove, which can serve as a night light, as well as an oven light inside. Okay. Tons of storage. This is a great spot to put a trash can um, so you don't have to have a Walmart bag or something hanging from an, uh, a handle in the kitchen. And then Tons of drawers, roller bearing, drawer glide, drawers, lots of space, easy to utilize. And at the end of the cabinet, we even have the what we call this a safe tech box. Opens up, you've got uh, 110 and USB outlets in here, so another place to plug in your electronics. And it's a nice little hidey hole. You can keep your keys or your wallet or anything that you don't want laying out in the open. You can uh, just hide them right away in here, okay? Let's move on to the master bedroom. So again, you notice uh, I mentioned when we were outside, the uh, window, the windshield, really opens up this, this room. You know, sometimes uh, smaller bedrooms can start to feel a little bit tight and claustrophobic. Well, that window makes a huge difference. Uh, and then we've done some different things as well. Notice how we cut out the back of the shirt closets. This is called the Stormore nightstand. All right, we gave you a couple of shelves back here to put your water or you know, uh, charge your phone, or if you're a CPAP user, it'll fit back there and it's easy access. So um, one of the things I think is important is that we actually use these products ourselves. We're campers, so you know we, we think of some of these things that you don't always find in other, in other manufacturers. Right? And of course, your shirt closets and plenty of storage above, and there's even storage underneath the bed. Um, um, I don't know if you can get this or not, but so lots of storage, always important. All right, well, there's just a couple things I forgot to mention in the kitchen, and one is this nice uh, dish rack here and sink cover. I love this because it just rolls up out of the way, you know, and it's slat, so you can use it as a dish drainer. But it also is a great spot to put a hot pan or anything. It creates more counter space. And then also new for this year, we added the Venture RV charcuterie board, right? Uh, charcuterie is the, the new big thing. Everybody loves charcuterie boards. So here you go, your very own Venture RV charcuterie board. Listen, we appreciate you stopping by to check out the 281 VBH today. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us through our email, uh, our website, our Facebook or uh, certainly uh, contact your local dealer uh, for more information on the 281 VBH. Thanks for stopping by.